So welcome to the second Bootstrap 3 sponsored web design video. In this video we're going to be creating the nav bar, which is this black bar that goes along the top of our web page, and it will of course be re uh, responsive. So it will resize into this when it's on mobile. So this is actually quite simple. Uh, with Bootstrap we don't need to worry about any JavaScript, CSS or anything. We just need to put some markup. Uh, markup gets a little bit confusing, but it's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do, uh, in the last video we left off with this it just says hello world with the bootstrap styling and we had everything linked up so if you haven't watched that video go and watch that um, I'll put the link to the playlist in the description right so the first thing we want to do is just remove this hello world here and we want to open up a div so a container and give it a class equal to navbar and then you can just close this off so First we need to set that to navbar, and then we need to say what type of navbar. So it could be navbar default, which is white, or navbar, navbar inverse, which is black, or really dark grey. So navbar-default, save that, and refresh. That gives us this light navbar, and then navbar-inverse will give us a dark navbar, like that. The next thing that we see is that the corners are curved. Now this is currently being designed so that it only takes up like the middle section of your screen and it's slightly away from the seat of from the top of the browser so we can make it navbar dash sorry dash static dash top and that will make it properly fixed to the top so it'll probably static and you know what I mean it, it will be square against the top we could also do navbar dash fixed dash top and that will look exactly the same at the moment but when we have content here and we scroll it will stay in the browser's viewport but for this I want static top so inside here I'm going to create another class actually I'm going to remove this space because it's not needed I'm going to create another class so div class is equal to container and then we can close this off now this is going to make sure that everything is centered on the page so if I type in hello here Oops. Hello. Save that. Refresh. You see it's staying in the container. Though we can barely see it, it's staying within a good, uh, sort of a good place on the screen. So as we resize this, it's still visible and it's still in the middle. So we can remove this hello here and we're going to make some space in here. We're going to create a div with a class equal to navbar dash brand. And this is going to give us the title, so the name of the site. So we just close that off. And then here we're just going to put a tech site. And save that and refresh. And you see it now says tech site. And we're going to make this, this should actually be an A class. I don't know why I did, did div. And we can add an href equal to hash for now. You could put a URL there, of course. And that gives us, that makes it into a link. Right, so the next thing we want to do is create the navigation bar. So to create the navigation bar, we first need to make a div with a class equal to collapse navbar dash sorry navbar dash collapse and then nav header collapse. Okay, so there are three classes here. Um, these two, I'm pretty sure, do pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm not actually even sure if you even need this one, but I'm going to put it in there. And this one is basically what we're going to, it's almost like going to be like an ID. So we're going to be referencing this uh, with, when we do our button. So this is a container for what will be collapsed when we're on a mobile. So this stuff won't be visible on a mobile until we press that button. And we'll be doing the button in a moment. Inside here, we're going to create an unordered list and just close it off. And this, of course, is going to need classes like every other thing. And we're going to have a class of nav. So class equals nav, navbar dash nav, and navbar dash right. So these two are going to give us the styling for the actual nav navigation bar. Um, and this one is going to make sure that it's aligned to the right of the navigation bar. So now we need to do is just add some items to it. So we're going to do li and close off the li and then inside the, the list item we can do ahref is equal to hash 
going to close that off of course and then we're going to put home save this and we will refresh and you see we've got our home link here and if we put this in small you see it's disappeared now oops it's disappeared now because we're on mobile size and we happen to create a button here so what I'm going to do is create the button and then we'll come back to doing our list items so here we're going to create a button with a class of navbar dash toggle a data dash toggle and set this equal to collapse and I'll explain this all in a minute collapse data dash target and set this equal to dot header sorry dot nav header collapse and that is what we call it down here nav header collapse so basically it's going to tell it that we're going to target this um, collapse area here so when this button is pressed it's going to deal with this and then we can just close off this button so slash button and for now I'm just going to put the letter F in there just put, put whatever in there for now so save it, refresh and you can see we've got this button here that says F and when we press that this drops down and it's all working so the next thing that we can do is I want to change this so we get the three lines for the navigation icon so span class is equal to icon dash bar so this is an icon that comes built into bootstrap uh, without the glyphicons add on and then we're going to do it three times so we get three bars stacked on top of each other so save that and then we can refresh again and you see we've got these three bars now and it all looks good okay so coming back to our navigation bar we can just duplicate this a few times and then we'll have home uh, blog uh, we had social media I can't remember exactly what they are social media about oops, about and contact us now if you remember social media is a drop down uh, we'll come back to that in a moment but the first thing I want to do is just make sure that this home button is active so what I mean by this is if we go back and have a look here this home button is slightly darker and it's indented so this is what we mean by making it active so we could just add a class to this li class equals active now this class of active is used in most types of buttons in bootstrap so it's kind of a it works on pretty much all elements that are buttons so save that and we can refresh it now and you see it's now indented Okay, so as I said before, the next thing we want to do is the social media button as a drop down. So this is where things get a little bit confusing. Uh, we can just remove this whole line. We go li class is equal to, oops, equal to drop down, uh, drop down, and then close off the li. And then inside here, we're going to have a href is equal to hash, must be hash. You don't want to put a link there. Class, I'm oh, sorry class is equal to drop down toggle and data dash toggle is going to be drop down and then of course we can just close this off now inside here we're going to put social media so that is what's going to actually be visible so now if we save that and refresh here it all looks the same um, except when we click on it you see it's indented because right now it thinks there's a drop down showing although you need to create this drop down still so that's what we're going to do now so underneath here what we can do is create another UL and this is going to contain all of the drop down items and it's going to have a class equal to drop down dash menu right so now we can just create our allies with a href is equal to hash and then just close it off and then here we can put Twitter and I've got Facebook Google Plus and then find, oh, finally Instagram so now if we save this and we refresh it and we press social media we get this drop down one final little touch that we want to do 
this put this little arrow, which is called a carrot, apparently. Um, so that when we get that arrow, basically. So it looks like a drop down. So right now there's a hidden drop down. So this is really simple. We just need to go to our drop down button. And here put a space for correct spacing. And then put B class is equal to carrot. Carrot, not carrot, not vegetable. Right, so now we can save that and we can refresh it. And you see we've got this carrot, this arrow, so it looks like a drop down. And if we resize this in and we press the button, you see everything's all working fine. It's all working really perfectly and it's all work properly on mobile too. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, the next Bootstrap series, uh, the next Bootstrap video should be up very soon if it's not already. Uh, so yeah, so be subscribed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.